Manifestation is an area that I love talking about and I know that you are a huge master in. Can you explain the best ways for us to manifest our dreams and desires using the techniques that you have learned? Yeah, I, I, I teach, just, just to give you context, you know, I, I, I have taught over the years that there are four stages of spiritual yes. growth, development, and unfoldment. So I know you, you, I'm sure you're aware of this. And so it, it gives a context about manifestation. So the first stage is victim. People that are living in the victim stage, they have a belief that someone outside of themselves or something outside of themselves determines their destiny. Something that happened in the past or whatever the case may be. Yeah. As an individual grows, they begin to be aware that there are mental and spiritual and uh, laws of the universe that can be used, you know, and there's a linguistic, con a linguistic convenience called the law of attraction, where people begin to learn, they can, they can actually begin to manifest their dreams through creative visualization, uh, through soulful intentionality, through embracing the inner feeling that what they want, they already have. So this is a way that one begins to put their toe into the water of metaphysical manifestation. Uh, most people, many people have um, worst case scenarios that are in their minds all the time. You know, what if this bad thing happens? What if this, and they end up uh, trying to, uh, not feel those particular things. They do many things. They do uh, uh, what's called compulsive behaviors to not participate in the fear of their worst case scenarios. But you can train the mind to have best case scenarios. You know, what if this day was the best day of my life? What if everything works together for my good? What if I have all of my needs met all the time? You can begin to reprogram the very neurons of your brain to participate and something good that's trying to happen for you. So that's, we, I call that stage two. That's how you, you use the laws of manifestation through visualization, creative, creative use of your imagination, uh, up, -leveling your, up leveling your conversation. So your conversation is affirmative, like what you said, what you say to yourself in terms of, of walking the direction of your highest good, opening up all the doors for you, closing the door. You know, this is, this is the way that you begin to move in that, di that direction. And then something happens and instead of making things happen with your mind, you begin to let things happen with your heart, meaning mm. you're not making it happen anymore. You're making it welcome yeah. because you're beginning to see that at the meta level, it, it's already happened. Mm. You can't make love. You can't make joy. You can't make abundance. It's already here. What you're doing is opening yourself up and allowing it to flow through you. So stage three is through us. Stage one, something's happening to you. Yeah. Stage two, something is happening by you. Stage three, something's happening through you. You've done enough inner work that you see that you're in the, you get into the zone. Yeah. Something's happening through you. It's, it's a peak experience. It's a whole different vibe, you see. It's, it's and, so interesting. So I, I just, you talking about that, I started doing this meditation probably two months ago and it's a pure love meditation. It goes, it's like two hours or so long and I do it once a week because it's hard to find the time to do a, it's such a long meditation. But the whole idea is that you're, you just go into a state of love. You connect your mind with your heart and have this beautiful kind of, you know, meeting of the two. And it's, it's so unbelievably powerful. You raise your vibration and ever since I started doing it, I have experienced the most miraculous, firstly, mystical experiences, but secondly, just being in that feeling of love and knowing that that is what you are then exuding to the world, your life begins to change. It is, it is one of the most powerful things I think I've ever done. Yeah. You're in flow and you're not in your way. You're not in the way of life seeking to express itself by means of you yes it's a it's it's, it's, it's flow motion it's, mm. yeah, it's flow motion and then that the fourth state is being yeah. where there's no separation between you and life you're just 
It's a great state of being where you're it. Doesn't mean you're not doing anything, uh, but the sense of separation has dissolved. So in terms of manifestation, you know, you have to have clear, clear intention, a clear articulation of what you want. You begin to feel that you already have it and you walk in the direction of your dreams every single day, doing a little bit every day. Yeah. Uh, and then the next level is, is the life visioning process where you actually open yourself up to the vision, describe it. You then um, <clears throat> ask yourself, you know, what is it that I need to become in order to manifest the vision? Because you can't, you cannot have what you're not willing to become in consciousness. It's an impossibility. Or if you do get something through manipulation, you'll lose it later. Mm. So you have to, as you were talking about lifting your vibration, you have to actually become it vibrationally. Mm. So let's say a person is sitting and they're going into the visioning process and they begin to see um, that they are to um, be the founder of, of a business that's going to help humanity some kind of way. And they're able to describe it. And then they would ask the question, what must I become for this to manifest? And they would start to get where they would need to grow in their own life. Mm. You know, where is their growing edge? Do they, need to, do they need to be more loving? Do they need to learn more about business? Do they, you know, what's, do they need to hone certain skills? What do I need to become? And then you would ask the question, what do I already have that can be in service to the vision? In other words, sometimes we have gifts and we have resources, but they're so close to us that we take them for granted. Yeah. So if you ask, what do I already have that can be in service to the vision? You're, 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 you'll start to get glimpses of things that you already have that you put to the side maybe or aren't using. And you'll understand the, the law as it's described in the scripture that said to he or she who has more is given, but to he or she who has not even that which they have shall be taken away. It's not personal. It's just the law. Yeah. If you begin to feel that you have more comes, yeah. but if you feel you don't have, then you're using the law in reverse yeah. and what you have is taken away. So what do I have? Then you begin to live with that feeling of having, and then you ask, what is it that, I, that, that no longer serves me that I can let go of? Because all spiritual growth is really about eliminating something mm. because you already have everything. So what, do I, what, can I, what can I let go of? And you may, what may bubble up are habits, what may bubble up are low-level conversations, um, what, what may, may come up are just things that you're doing that you don't that don't serve you anymore. And you, let, you become, once you do that, then you go into willingness. Yeah. You tap into the feeling of willingness. I'm willing to see this vision. I'm willing to articulate it. I'm willing to become what's necessary. I'm willing to embrace what I have. I'm willing to let go of what doesn't serve me. And then from there, you go into an affirmative prayer and you let it go and you walk in the direction of your dream every single day. Yeah. And you'll start, as you described, you'll start to change. And, and you'll become the individual, vibrationally, that can manifest the vision. And it'll sneak up on you. <laughs> 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 because you're, you're changing, you're growing. It's yeah. not like what, you, what, what people must realize that you're not going to stay the same and change yeah. the world yeah. or stay the same and change your world because your world's reflection of you. Mm. You're going to change and grow and evolve and transform. And then the world's going to change. Your world's going to change. Yeah. The kind of people you hang around with are going to change. The kind of conversations you have are going to, are going to change. Your actions are going to change. Your habits are going to change. You'll look back and you won't even recognize who you used to be. 